How to fix high CPU usage in Windows. If your computer fans frequently hit top speeds, it's a sign that your CPU usage is reaching 100%. Simultaneously, your computer may slow down. That's annoying, especially if you're not actually doing anything. The CPU, central processing unit, also known as the processor, is your computer's brain, like your own noggin. It can become overwhelmed if bombarded with too many processes, or if a single task consumes undue attention. Just as you may find work difficult when overwhelmed, your processor can slow to a crawl if too much is asked of it at once. Normally, you can avoid this situation by staying away from demanding apps. However, CPU usage can sometimes go out of control because of a bug in a process, such as the infamous wiperbs.x. Fortunately, in most cases, you can easily fix the underlying issue and lower high CPU usage. The WMI Provider Host Process, also known as Windows Management Instrumentation or Wiperbs.x, is part of Windows and assists organizations in monitoring and troubleshooting a large number of systems on a network. It's not uncommon for the process to go out of control. However, you can tell if this is your problem by opening the task manager, press Ctrl plus Shift plus ESC, and looking for the wiperbs.x process. If its CPU usage is higher than a few percent, and you're not running any program that would impact it, it's not functioning properly. Microsoft recently pulled its official fix. The only option you're left with now is manually restarting the service. Do a Windows search for services and in the window that opens, look for Windows Management Instrumentation. Right-click it, then select Restart. You can also stop the service entirely, if you desire, or simply restart your computer. If the issue with Wiperbs.x keeps returning, use the Windows Event Viewer to identify its cause. It could be another system process that keeps the WMI provider host busy, thereby causing high CPU usage. Inside the Event Viewer app, go to Applications and Service Logs greater than Microsoft greater than Windows greater than WMI Activity greater than Operational. For each error, identify the client processed. Note that every time you restart a process, its ID will change. Hence there's no point in checking older errors. If you suspect that one of these processes is causing the high CPU usage, you can use its ID to find it in the task manager and identify the faulty process. Open the task manager, press Ctrl plus Shift plus ESC. Switch to the services tab and sort all running services by PID, i.e., their process ID. If the guilty process is still running, you will be able to identify it and investigate further. Right-click the process and select open file location to review the software it belongs to. Updating or uninstalling the respective program may fix the WMI provider host's high CPU usage. Finally, there's a possibility that the service could be a worm or virus. You should see only one version of the process at any given time. And the process should stop if you halt it through the services window. If you see two versions of it, or the process will not stop, run a virus scan. We would like to think that the internet is a safe place to spend our time, cough. But we all know there are risks around every corner. Email, social media, malicious websites that have worked. Windows users occasionally run across a process called the system idle process causing high CPU usage. This obscure process seems to hog all the CPU power it possibly can, terrible. Right, actually. The system idle process is simply a thread that consumes CPU cycles, which are not otherwise being used. The process is used because of some very arcane peculiarities in coding, which make it sometimes preferable, and even more efficient, for a processor to run something instead of nothing at all. This is not just a Windows thing, but Windows displays the process in the task manager, so users see it and assume something is wrong. This is not to say you can't experience performance issues when the system idle process is showing a high CPU usage load, but the issue lies elsewhere. In fact, you should expect to see the system idle process report that it consumes 95% or more of your CPU when Windows is at idle. If it's not, 
Something else is consuming processor cycles without your knowledge. If you check the task manager, you might have noticed that the SVC host.x NetCV's process is causing high memory or CPU usage. Do you have 4 or more GB of RAM and does your computer still feel sluggish? You may suffer from a memory leak or shortage. We show you how to troubleshoot all your Windows 10. While this process is sometimes associated with malware, it's primarily a legitimate and system-critical Windows process. If you're unsure, use this lookup tool to see which service the process is referring to. To exclude this cause, head to Control Panel Greater Than Network and Sharing Center and click Change Advanced Sharing Settings. Here, select Turn Off Network Discovery. SVC Host.x, NetSVCs, also shows high CPU usage when Windows is downloading updates. You will commonly see it using 25% or more CPU capacity after you just installed Windows. In that case, just let Windows Update finish its thing. Since Windows 10, you can't delay or pause Windows Update easily, while you can schedule when to install new updates. Windows Downloads Updates is needed. This may randomly cause SVC host.x to increase its CPU usage. What you can change, however, is whether your computer shares downloaded updates with peers. Turn this off to conserve bandwidth and processing power. Head to Settings Greater Than Update and Security Greater Than Windows Update. Click Advanced Options, then click Delivery Optimization, and click Advanced Options once more. Here you can limit the bandwidth used to download updates in the background or for uploading updates to other PCs on the internet. You should set the latter to a minimum of 5% and also set the monthly upload limit very low. The only other workaround to tame high CPU usage related to downloading updates is to temporarily disable Windows Update. Windows Update keeps your system patched and safe. In Windows 10 you're at the mercy of Microsoft's schedule unless you know hidden settings and tweaks. So, keep Windows Update under control. A background process is a program that's running on your PC. Even though it's not open in a window, a typical computer will have many background processes running at once, as Windows itself requires some to run. But as you install programs, over the years you may collect more and more, and eventually overwhelm your PC. You can check on this by opening Task Manager via a Windows search for the same or by running taskmer.x. The Processes tab will appear by default, displaying not only overall CPU usage, but also the usage of each app. You should do this while no other programs are open to prevent confusion. Note the processes which appear to be using at least 10% of your processor's capability on a regular basis. In Windows 7, exit Task Manager and open msconfig.x via Windows Search or the Run dialog, Windows Plus R. In the System Configuration window, head to the Startup tab. The Windows 10 Startup folder lets you manage which programs run at startup. Here's how to find the Startup folder and manage its programs. Correlated with the items that you noted. Uncheck them, click OK, and then restart your PC. This will stop those programs from launching at boot. Do you notice that your computer becomes slow at seemingly random times? And those times often correlate with high disk activity. Your problem could be your antivirus. An antivirus program, when actively searching your disk for a threat, can consume a surprising amount of processor load. This usually isn't enough to slow a modern desktop or high-end laptop but older or slower systems may noticeably slow under the strain. Fixing this is easy. Virtually all antivirus apps come with a scheduling function that lets you adjust when it automatically scans. Change the schedule to a time when you're not using the laptop, and you'll no longer be bothered. On the other hand, malware can cause high CPU usage. A system that's infected may run processes in the background and it may attempt to spread itself by sending malware to others via your email, your network, or other sources. All of this requires processing power, which can translate to poor performance. Confirming an infection manually is not easy, and for the layman is more guesswork than anything else. If you don't have an antivirus, download a free malware application. Concerned about malware, ransomware, and viruses. 
Here are the best security and antivirus apps you need to stay protected and run it. In fact, you may want to try several anti-malware tools. Because malware that's already installed has the advantage, it may be able to hide from any single antivirus app. Once you've found the problem, you can remove it with the antivirus app you used to scan. If that fails, read our malware removal guide. Malware is everywhere these days, and eradicating malware from your system is a lengthy process, requiring guidance. If you think your computer is infected, this is the guide you need. High CPU usage can be hard to track down, while the problems listed here are among the most common causes. You may find that CPU usage is still an issue even after you try everything suggested above. If this problem still plagues you, find a Windows support forum, where you can ask users for advice about how to deal with your particular situation. Your computer suffers from high CPU usage and the process that hogs most resources is system interrupts. We will help you get to the bottom of this. Text source, makeusub.com.